Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. Last time, we... things did not go well. We got down to the depths one. We got... we got there with two red hearts, which is never a good sign of anything. We did have the mark for some extra damage. We had a fairly strong showing of spirit hearts beforehand, but it didn't matter. We lost. We got beat. Oh, oh, check this out. So, this is actually kind of fortuitous to get. I haven't seen this in a long, long, long time. So sometimes when you teleport um, through telepills, or the, in Wrath, there's a couple of chests that just randomly teleport you places, you can get the I Am Error room, and it is this thing. So, it sometimes random, just random stuff in it. So we have a deck of cards, which gives us the world card, which we want to keep, and a whole bunch of pills. Let's try, okay, I don't want the telephone card, we already know what that does. Let's just try all these pills. Bad trip, so that's awful. Well, we know what it is, so that's something. Full health, so we want to take one of those with us, maybe. Ooh, or the world card, hmm. So what the white pill does, tears down. So these pills are not doing good things for us. And oh no. Okay, so we have now discovered what half of our pills do. And they're not good things. So we could take a full health or a... Oh, but this can actually leave... Is this going to leave the floor? I think it's going to leave the floor. Which will make us lose two items. Let us... This is going to be bad. I had to look this up later. We're going to teleport us out of here. Because if that takes you to the next floor, which I think it does, then we lose the item from the boss room and from our treasure room for this floor. And as you saw last game, we cannot afford that. So, for that teleport, basically we got a, the tarot cards, which is good. This is Gish, he shoots in, you know, four diagonal directions, so it's pretty easy to dodge when he's by himself. We got the, you know, we got an item already. That's nice. Not a fantastic item, but hey, it can give us, like, the hair font, so that is good enough for me. And we learned what, like, three or four different pills do already, and that's good. We discovered there is a full health pill in this particular run of the game. We got the inner eye, which is good. I was thinking this was um, Mom's contact when I last saw it, but hey, inner eye is probably even better. So we have triple shot. We have the box of terror cards, and let's go punch Larry in the face. Try not to let Larry, you know, run into us with his greater mass. Almost trapped myself between two Larrys there. Which is not something I ever think I want to do. Oh, oh, nope. And we could die in this fight, because I apparently don't know how to dodge one of the easiest enemies in the game. Or one of the easiest boss in the game. Not easy enemy, he's difficult to protect normal enemies. And it again, wow. Okay, come on now. Get your game face on. Am I just not fast enough? My TV's around my mouth instead of shooting? I don't understand. He's doing very well with his traps though. I mean, give him that. He's trapping it in with poop very, very well. But it doesn't matter. We're back to full health. You got two extra bombs. Oh, one extra bomb, we didn't spend a bomb. We got a health up. Let's go look for the secret room. Two over here. In case there's lots of money in it. It's possible. Always possible. Don't doubt. 
Bob shot head. I would actually rather have the deck of cards right now. Because it can give us, you know, give us the Empress, it can give us the Hero Font. And those are solid items. Which Bob's Rotten Head is not a bad item. I'd also not consider, you know, one of my top items. Like by any stretch of the imagination. It's one of those items that you use it, you know, I end up like forgetting to even have it. Because it's not important enough to remember, you know, keep it in my mind that, oh yeah, I have Bob Shotten Head and I should use it more often. I'm like, eh. But our deck is charged up, so we have strength. That's not a good showing to prove why I kept deck of cards over Bob Shotten Head. I do think the strength card is one of the least valuable of the cards. Try to take out one side of the room at a time, so that you have more room to play with your dodging. And less chance of a crossfire. Hop down, shoot. One thing Triple I allows you to do is... I have to aim quite as well. When you know, in places like that, you don't have to like, do curve shots as well, since you have, I mean, you've got three chances. Like when you're doing like weird aim shots, one of them is bound to be right. He says as he misses everything in the room multiple times with all three of his shots. Triple shot also means you end up getting closer to enemies to shoot them so that you can hit one enemy with multiple shots. Like that. So you can pretty much one shot enemies. You know, weak enemies of course. We have plenty of keys, let's see what we got here. We have Mr. Boom, which is not useful. So we'll pick him up and put him back down. You pick him up and put him back down because once you pick them up, they won't show up in the game again for you. Whereas if you don't pick him up, the next treasure room could still be Mr. Boom. And we don't want that, we fit on the first time. We might go on the second time. But the game doesn't care about that. The game figures maybe you were mistaken the first time, maybe you did want a second time. So it will give you stuff twice. Which is annoying, so pick stuff up, put it back down. If it's something that can be picked up, put back down, right? It's a space for item. If it's a passive that you don't want, then... Like, my reflection. Then you just have to hope it doesn't show up again. And usually things don't. Like, it's... There are enough items in the game. Especially once you start unlocking items, that you know, your odds are pretty good that you're not going to see things again. So as you watch this is Envy, Envy splits into many little balls over and over and over again. The smart thing with Envy to do is just pick, you know, a set to shoot at and keep shooting at it. We have the High Priestess, which is better than the Strength card. The High Priestess can, of course, kill you if you don't play with it well. But hey, that's alright. We know what we're doing with it, so... We will endeavor not to kill ourselves with our own card. So let's open up this. Get two Spirit Hearts. Fantastic. So we have a secret room over here. That's the only place I see that it could be. It's always the it's likely to be. So we have 14 cents. Okay, let's make the trek back around. I know this is kind of a long way, but... Let's go back around to the shop and see if there is a 7 cent item in the shop. There's not. There are the extra glasses, which we can't afford. And I don't think they're worth buying even if we could afford them. The extra glasses tell you things like um, that where the secret room is, that there is, like, if there's a mini boss in the next room, it will tell you if you don't know the compass. Like, when you get to, you know, right on the room before the mini boss, it will tell you, hey, next room is a mini boss, so you may or may not want to go in there. 
Um, I don't think we want to use our High Priestess for this fight. Though this fight is frustrating. Not from difficulty, just from, you know, that you spend 80% of your time fighting other stuff. Mostly because it shoots these big guys at you. The little guys are not a big deal. We did take damage, which is sad. Stop shooting larger guys. Come on now. Just... There we go, finally. So you gotta spend a lot of time cleaning up after him. Stupid Flies makes a mess all over everything. Pick up some more health. And that's that floor. Let us head on down to the caves. Come on, pop it up. Alright. And one more. Come on. Say hi. And those of you guys can't even see us, so we're not worried about them. Which makes the largest threat in the room, the little red flies this guy spits out. So deal with him first. Deal with the champion second, just because he happens to be sitting here. Ignore that there's a bomb there. Let's go see what's in our shop. Kamikaze. Why anyone would ever pay money for Kamikaze? No one knows. The only reason you pay money for Kamikaze is because you don't know what it does. Like, there's no other reason to use Kamikaze. Or using, like, the cheat engine to give yourself, like, you know, a health per room or something? I don't know. You have some weird combination going on of crazy items from Wrath that somehow make taking damage yourself make sense? I don't even know, something with the nun's habit so you get charges. Oh, no, Kamikaze is a spacebar item. I don't even know. I don't know what circumstances Kamikaze could be worth buying. Or even picking up, but... Except that you pick it up to get it out of the rotation. <laughs> We're not going to pay to get out of the rotation, right? That's just silly. That's just silly. So we'll hang out down here, since they don't seem to have the brains to look down as you at us. And have no danger. So to this card for ourselves. Alright, what was this card? High Priestess, okay. Let's use the moon to go to the room. See, I was about to say, I wonder if we should give up the tarot cards, but it gave us the sun. And the sun is pretty far. So we're gonna, so, you know, kind of justify itself. Kind of justify keeping it. Let's take the sun with us. Actually, let's take High Priestess in case we want to use it real quick. Now, maybe we're gonna get, have a reason to use the sun in these last couple floors on Caves 1, right? Hopefully not. That seems crazy. Maybe we'll even take the High Priestess into the boss and come back for the Sun card. Anchor's Cookbook, which just drops random bombs all over the floor. Trying to, so you try to, you know, commit suicide with it. Suicide by Cookbook, I guess. It's like Suicide by Cop, you know, but even dumber. Right, let's... Come on, guys. Get a shot. Okay. Extra bomb to key. That's useful, I suppose. Let's put this up, see if there's a penny in it. There was not, so that was a waste of a bomb. Uh, let's... I don't feel like backtracking. Let's not. <laughs> it's just laziness. And saving your time? You don't want to see me backtrack either, do you? That just takes you long. It's an extra five floors to walk through. Ten floors, I go there and back. All right, fistula. So fistula breaks up into small pieces. We're not doing nearly enough damage for this. Oh man. So 
basically the idea is that, like Envy, you hope to use to fight small pieces at a time. Which is actually going surprisingly well here. It doesn't always. Usually goes more like that where you get shot in the face, or get hit in the face by something flying at you. But this has gone very well. Just trying to break up that big one, kill the little small guys with a couple hits. Alright. One more, break the two, break the little crawly guys. The official pieces are always faster than I'm expecting them to be. So you unlock Little Chubby for doing I'm not sure what. Maybe beating a certain number of mini bosses or regular bosses, I guess? I don't know. Anyway, so this floor looks done to me. It's going down. Let's head over to the right. We have five keys. Let's open this. Speed up. That was worth a key. Let's look for one more cent to round out our money. So we can have 15 cents for whatever the shop happens to have in it. Might have something on sale, but you never know. It might not, so I'd like a penny to be. So that I can for sure buy whatever's in there. Going right, there's a penny. If I get pennies on that board, I know I said I want a penny, but I don't want to risk getting hit for it. So, there's better ways to make a penny. So, we have Wrath, who is he just wants to be Bomberman. That's all. That's all. But of course, he can get by his own bombs. So, like that case right there. I guess just like regular Bomberman King too. So far the strategy here sends all mods back to him. If you can. Whoa. Those are wrong through you, like there's kinda weird. But for me, I'm not super good at it. So usually the bombs kinda get stuck along the way. And also don't have him trap you in a corner. Like he'll try to like chase you down into a little side eyes that's not exploded out yet. That bottom right corner down there. Get yourself stuck. But he gives us a couple bombs, usually. I believe it's also possible for him to drop something like Mr. Boom. That's way more rare. So, for the most part, you see that. And because we saw him, there's only ever one mini boss per floor. So, that means greed will not be in the shop. That's the most important part about seeing another mini boss. Is that once you see a mini boss, you're sure Greed's gonna be around. Emperor will take the. Oh, we want the sun. Yes, okay. So we have found the boss room, but have not found the shop or the item room, so we're not guys gonna go there yet. Waited too long to run. I was hoping the guys at the top would open up a little more, so I was hanging out for a second. But my shot speed's so slow. And I did not realize quite how slow it was. So let's go, I don't know. Let's go down. Which may or may not have been the right choice, who knows so far. Right, to try to just stay, keep some distance, and just adjust slightly when they explode if you need to. So this was not the right way, as you can see. Stay on the top of the screen so they can't hit you as easily. They still get bumped into you, so you're not totally safe at the top of the screen. But oh no. Okay. Uh, these guys do not have range all across the screen, or that first guy would have hit me from way, way away. So let us go left. I 
Yeah, if that first guy just say put and kept shooting from that side, he probably would have hit us while we were dealing with the first one. Like the guy that was here to start with, he just stayed right here and just kept shooting. He probably would have got us a time or two. So that, since that middle guy went down, this made this fight easier. A lot of times I try to anticipate when those guys are going to pop up and end up looking like you're shooting at them for no reason. I'm like, I'm not, I'm just, you know, guessing. Sometimes that doesn't work. More spirit hearts. A world card. Which is not useful, because our sun card counts as a world card as well. Boom gives us 10 bombs, and may make our bombs stronger as well. Honestly, it's kind of a waste of a treasure room. It's just, you know, how it is. But it does mean, if we ever find the shop, we can go back and get that one penny by using a bomb, and I feel too bad about it. Because we have 17 bombs now. We don't need 17 bombs or anything. Also, don't need to fight a thousand enemies in this room. So, if they would stop spawning random jump, that would be appreciated. Stop it. Just die. Just die. We're good. Got a penny. Getting the 9 volt with 7 cents anyway, so it didn't even matter. We had the extra or not. So we definitely buy the 9 volt. 9 volt makes things charge faster. We got another terror card already. Plus a magician. Magician gives you homing shots for a room. Pretty much nothing we get is going to be better than the sun card. But I still want the. Um, you still pop it because you want the hero farm. Like that's what, you know. So we're after there. Okay, this is not going well. I need to kill. I need to kill that. I need to left. Are we finding? Is this champion? No, it's not. It's just. So there's a champion version that only spawns stuff. That only spawns. Um, we lost two spirit hearts. Remember already? Wow. That only spawns enemies. It doesn't shoot at you at all. This one's just ridiculous, though. I need to kill this. Oh my goodness. We might have to pop a sun card here just to make this fight not take seven years. Okay. Finally. Screw it. Just get rid of all the stuff on the screen. I have a normal fight, Gertie. Now nah, we have a normal fight. Alright, I'm still not happy with this level, but hey. Our rate of fire is just so low. Makes us a little nubs. It's a little more difficult to attack than I would like. So apparently, triple shot comes with a massive shot speed down. Which is expected. Quad shot is the same thing. Pythemus is the same thing. Like all the, you know, good, not all of them, but a lot of the good tier effect things come with speed down, rate of fire downs as well. Let's take the Emperor with us. Because I don't feel like going back and getting the world card because I was a long way away. Alright, so we made it to the Depths 1, which is where we died last time. And our damage is still not good, so we might die here again. You know, let's just <laughs> be honest about it all. Might not live that long. Because while I do like triple shot, I like it with like sad onion. So I can actually shoot something. Because I just want the Gurdy fight. Pretty much what's fine. Like these rooms, you can dodge for a minute and then you can do something. But you're fighting an enemy that spawns a million flies. Security, Nuka flies, any of those. When you have the nubs who you have to hit a certain amount of times, or do a certain amount of damage to before they um you know rebuild themselves. 
it just becomes, you know, having low shot speed is a nightmare. See if Greed's in here, he is not. But the compass is in here, so if we can get six more cents, we'll come back for the compass. Because that's a fantastic item. Because it tells you where stuff is and where it should be going. Because right now I have no idea where I should be going. So we're going to try to kill these things before they trap us in a corner. I don't know if I would chase things around, but not with those two. Oh, okay. But now there's two guys going around. Wheel of Fortune. Just pop it out of the way. Let's blow it up. I don't want whatever it has anyway. Get back to full health. That works for me. Don't like this room. And I hate that guy a lot. So, I guess since we got a red heart out of that, it wasn't a waste, but it's not a good play. That's okay. When you go, this guy starts charging at you just over and over from across the screen. It's like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna dodge better, which pff, that's obviously not gonna happen. Or you're gonna get hit. So we just got hit. Oh, thank you, game. So we got a rate up, which is what I was just complaining about during that gritty fight. It made me use our sun card early, or before we like to at least. But now we have a rate up with triple shot. That's that is a good good thing. Okay. It's not for a little better, but little, 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 little. not for a little better about this run. Let's give some money to the beggar. Let's see if he judges us worthy of whatever item he's got. Steam sale, which makes that compass two, two cents cheaper, or makes it uh, makes us really need two cents to go buy it. I was kind of hoping he would just give us a compass so we didn't have to need 15 cents, but hey. This is also good. I'm gonna kill this and this guy get back to me, which never seems to happen. Nope, okay. So maybe I shouldn't worry about it. Maybe I should just hang out over here. And try to kill them. Okay, down to one. Now, if we can get here, we can get this one. Okay, that eventually happened. So, you know, the room shot speed up is very, very valuable on. Definitely use more damage, though. If I get like a pact, maybe. Sure the packs would have killed us last time because we didn't have enough didn't, didn't end up with enough health at the end. But that's what happens when we don't have enough damage. I know speed's important, but I've got speed. You go to actually, you know, hit something. Another judgment. If we don't get our two cents, we'll go use. We will go back and spend our five cents on judgment. But I think for now it makes more sense to hold on to our money. Because there should be a 7 cent compass back there. Assuming I'm not mixing up what all my floors are and we didn't leave the 7 cent compass on the last floor. Strength card is not useful. Come on, stop flipping cards around. Give me the Emperor card back. Okay. This layout is bad. I'd kill one of them, be a lot better though. Come on, just kill somebody. Somebody die for me. Okay. Nope. Ah, good grief. Our bomb boss got one of them. He is too fast for me. He's way too fast for me. There we go, okay. I can just do it more really okay. But probably not. Because he's a heat seeker. And there's no good place to have him charge you and then get behind him. 
right? So to turn around on you. There's no good open. Like, there's nowhere to get him to charge you and then like duck around him real quick. Because everything is single level through here. You know, single thing wide, single lane, as it were. Okay, that went about as crappily as I expected it to and walked in the room, so. As is this. Actually, that's not true. I was actually this to go anywhere near this bad. Oh my goodness, I've been like five times in this room. Six times. Seven times. Am I gonna die to this room? What in the crap? What in the world? I did not mean to go to the boss. Okay, so this is probably the end of this run. I hate that mess when as soon as the, the door opens, if you happen to be like right there, it'll just go in. I'm like, no, jerks. I was not trying to go in the boss room. And the Emperor card will not help me. It'll just take me to this room with a monster at full health. And... Don't spawn the flies. That'll kill me right there. Yep. Well, we just had a room kill us, so that's... Awful. Try again next time. Look at all that health we got. This is why we lost. Health, 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 speed, worthless bombs. Uh, we got a 9 volt that was charging the deck of cards, which never gave us any health, so that. I know as much as I can about health, never got any spirit heart, so. I think it was the sun card, which I had to use. We had the inner eye that was good, but it slowed our shot speed down, so we had to get this just to counteract that, because Steam Cell didn't end up using. Anyway. Bad play, mistakes, not good items. But I won't blame my good items too much more than I already have. Because I could have played better and then not died in the depths one. Which has been my nemesis lately in this game, sadly enough. Oh well, I'm Christopher. This has been Binding of Isaac. I will see you next time.